Yeah. Yo, listen, thanks for checking in on me, bro. You know I'm with you, God. I know, I know you a big super, super Cuban links king. Yeah. From one thing to another. I love everything about you, man. Say your woman, man. I said hi. I love her too. Chrissy is the realest. The realest, you, the realest, y'all. I love y'all, man. Y'all my, my Harlem family, man. What's going on? You look, you look working, man. It's been in, in the crib. Crib in the Yeah, crib. No, I'm good, man. I've just been in the house. Huh? That's right. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. You're you a little low. You're a little low, though. Yeah. Hold on. Let me turn it up. Yeah. How, how is it going now? Yeah, it sounds good now. Sound sounds good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah, celebrating, I'm celebrating right now. Drinking some rum. Drinking nah, some rum and some, some water. You already know, man. Listen, man. We had we 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 used to pump your joints, your records, your albums, everybody, Wu Tang, every, religiously. Me and Cam, like we yeah. we kept the we kept the we kept the purple we kept the purple pack on for the whole summer. I swear to God, like I had this little box in the kitchen. Where we used right. to, uh huh. Right. Where we used to hustle a lot of um, and we brought the pa the, the purple pack. We put that thing in the CD, and you can ask Cam this. We let that CD play for the whole summer, and if anybody touched that CD, they really, they really, 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 really had a problem, like a a big problem. Right. It was that it was that Shit. much religion to us. For real, so you know, yeah. it, it, it helped. It helped. It yeah. helped. It helped shape us. Like we was hustling to your music, you know what I mean? Like, and that was a right. big thing back in the day to have some real music to hustle to. Plus, the music right. was going right. was futuristic. Y'all was too futuristic for the time. The bars, the rhyme, the style. Like y'all was giving it up to a whole another level that you couldn't understand. And when I first saw Method Man, I was in awe. Like, yo, who the hell is this? And then when yeah. I saw you. It was like, nah, they got super drug dealers going on over there. What's going on? Like you gave yeah. that or you gave that aura like to 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 the max. And I just appreciate everything y'all bring to the table and shit like that. Thank you. Thank you, my nigga. I mean, like I was just telling Joe and shit, it's like yeah. when you think of hip hop niggas, you gotta go to the Bronx, right. Harlem, you know, the niggas that really been around it more right. than Staten Island niggas. Right. Yeah. You know? And for me, it's like watching a lot of older niggas from Staten Island make their way up to Harlem and to the Bronx to go to some joints, go to some parties and see the shit really take place. We looked up to Bronx niggas and Harlem niggas. Y'all niggas crazy. are getting tons of money up there. The niggas that we know as legends today, those was our superheroes in the hood, so... It meant a lot for me to come up to Harlem and just stand on the ground and just yeah, be Harlem. like, yo, so Harlem every time you see him. a piece of fly, every time you see a piece of flyness that, that come out of me, a piece of that is a Harlem nigga in me. That's the Harlem in me, because it's like, <laughs> I used to go to shit like the Rooftop, SNS Club, Ponderosa Stick, the Ponderosa. You was up there, huh? Them. Yo, Jim, listen, I used to come by, right? Because, you know, we was sniffing back then. We was little niggas, polo gooses, Gucci sneakers on, sniffing and shit. We would go up in the park right across the street from the pole. He's someone I know, because them, 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 them